Hello guys and welcome again to another episode of our tutorial series The Beginner Guide So today's episode we are going to learn how to use the text tool In the last episode of course we learned how to use the pen tool It was really really a cool episode, it was hard, it was uh, uh, boring right it was boring <laughs> but this is this is the beginners uh, guide right it's it's always boring uh, to make a beginner guide and explain uh, uh, explain it uh, in, in a simple way we are not using any uh, like I will show you these pictures created like having a lot of effect to impress you and make you go wow how did he make this no I'm just making it basic so you can see what does tool do in a simple way I'm not going to make a crazy stuff here and make your mind go blow blow <laughs> so we are making just a simple stuff so you can see what this tool do clearly without any effect or anything so we are moving on to the, te the, the text tool here the last episode we learned how to use the pen tool is the P tool and the text tool the shortcut for the text tool, of course, it's tada! <laughs> it's T, right? It's it's T. So, if we press T in our uh, keyboard, we will have this. Uh, what is this? Uh, is this a man who is cut from his? Uh, mm, I, I don't know. I don't know what is this. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, the the text tool and this is how it looks like we have this uh, this uh, selection around a um, how do we say this it's how we, we, we want to, to uh, write some things we have this this dot going on and off right uh, I don't know how we, we call it I, I, I have no idea so this is this is the, the text tool basically so if you click just once on your uh, on your layer just once click you will have this line here uh, for now I'm having a big size let me just make it small like this so you can see it clearly we have this line here as you can see this line and basically you can just write whatever you want so I will just write like this I'm having uh, something written here let me just zoom out a little bit because the, the picture's quality is not that high and I'm using a, a, a 21 inch uh, screen here so just to make it clear for you guys so we have this text here uh, we can even make the text looks uh, uh, text bigger so it's good to look uh, let me just what? Uh, okay like this <laughs> I'm having trouble here guys <laughs> so we are going to make the text bigger so to see, so you can see it clearly let me just make it even bigger like this but I will switch uh, fast to this and I will press T again to get my uh, text tool here as you can see we have our, our first text here and how can we manipulate this text so is if you look in the top corner again and by the way guys uh, I'm pretty sure you noticed by now that every tool we choose this top uh, menu menu bar here it changed uh, in a specific way for the tool we choose if we click on the move tool we have a different menu here if we click the selection we have another one and so on we have a different menu for and for any tools we will talk about those menu in the intermediate course and how we can use them to make cool stuff so this is the menu here for the for, for our text tool is in, the, in this area here we have the font we are going to use so if we you click we will have those fonts here and as you hover on top of any uh, any font the font in in here changes as well uh, it's like uh, showing you a preview of how uh, it will looks like so let's just say uh, I want to change it like this so I'm having it uh, another uh, just change it to my font here and the second one here it's it's uh, it's how your font will looks like it's how much type you have in your font 
let me choose one that have more than, than one for example this one here it have these options here it have these four options there is a bold if you choose it it will be bold there is an italic one and there is this one here of course so those are uh, the font uh, the font uh, you choose and what type of it and here uh, you've seen me using it uh, more than once it's the text and how how your size will looks like so if i make this like this it will be bigger this is the font size and, and here we have those tools how can we use this strong sharp and stuff like this let me just zoom in a little bit i want to show you this closely so for now we have this uh, strong oh, here if i make this sharp you will see it just looked like different if we choose crisp it 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 looks like crisp right if we choose none it will be none of course and you will see these pixels here this is really bad so the smooth one will make it look smooth so this is how you will make your text looks uh, better or not it's it's uh, basically based on on the the design you want to make if you want a design to to be like let's say uh, a pixel art you will make it to look like uh, man right but if you want something to look smooth you will choose this if you want something uh, strong it will be like this and if you want something sharp it will be sharp of course so for now i will switch it to the smooth one here and in the next tools and uh, the next line <laughs> we have those uh, alignment this one here uh, will make your text of course right from uh, let's say the left to the right or from the right to the left or go in the mid so if i click on my text here select it let's make uh, a second line here like this and i will mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do right now uh, yes this is oh okay we have this text here right so if I click here it will make it go from the left to the right if we click like this it will make it go from the uh, right to the left and the mid one will make it like this so you can choose uh, whatever you want and of course the next one here as you guess it it's the color this one here is responsible for the color and how we can make our design looks uh, different so you can even pick a color from here and make it uh, for our design here this one here is responsible for how your font will looks like this will change this uh, uh, how it looks the shape of our design let me just uh, show you again so I will cancel this if you click in this one you will have this error it, it tells you could not complete your request because the type layer use a fox bold style remove attribute and continue so this one here uh, it depends on the font you are using if the font it, the font you use is supported in this uh, one it will work uh, better but if not it will try to remove it so if you click ok it just removed it so now we can choose a style and as you can see the arc made it looks like an arc uh, the, the upper arc will switch it like this uh, the flag will make it looks like a flag like this we can even uh, change the bend to make it looks top or left uh, like this uh, like this you can play with the text how, uh, however you like and the second one and the the last two the second from the the left from the right <laughs> if you click this one it will show you just this this text bar here so basically everything we have here in the top we can access them from this character panel here so if you click this one here it will show you this and if you don't have it here you can go to window and click on character here and you will have this uh, character uh, uh, window here of course we can choose the text here the type of it the font how the size will looks like and we have more option here 
we will talk about this option in the intermediate guys uh, guide uh, for now let's just keep it like this and this is of course for 3d we are not going to use 3d for now at all this is let's make it a basic guide. so this is how we use the text tool and we have uh, this path selection tool in this the direct selection tool we will explain them in the next episode for now uh, I think this is this is a uh, cool right um, just talking about the text tool in one episode because I uh, as you may notice guys uh, in every episode I try to explain just one or two tools not more in that because I, I want you to focus on every uh, in every tool and understand how it works because uh, I've uh, I seen in other courses they go around in, the, in explaining a lot of tools in the same time uh, and when you, you try to make uh, your first design or just to copy the design they are making you will always go back and forth in the video and see where did he press uh, what was the shortcut for the move tool what was this what was this and you will waste uh, a lot of time just trying to uh, to understand how he created some things so with this beginner guide i hope so you will have uh, an idea of every tool and what is the shortcut for this tool so by now you might have learned of course and i hope so that every tool here what what's its shortcut so let's let's uh, do something right let's see so if we want to use the move tool as I said before, the move tool is the V move tool. If I press uh, V on my keyboard, I will have my move tool here. And for the marquee tool, it's marquee tool. So if I press M, I will have my marquee tool. And for the lasso tool, it's L, right? If I press L, I will have my lasso tool. For the magic wand tool, it's magic wand tool. If I press W, I will have my magic wand tool. And for the crop, Crop it C right you you guys you guys are are really really awesome you you get it and for the brush tool it's brush tool it's P right and for the gradient tool it's yeah, G and for let's say for the pen tool it's P and for the text tool it's T and etc we can we can go uh, the eyedropper tool for example let's say it's eyedropper tool I so it's I on your keyboard and uh, so on you 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 guys get it uh, I hope you learn right for now how to use every tool and what is the shortcut for this tool uh, easily so you can move just between your keyboard and your mouse you don't need to go uh, moving your cursor uh, everywhere on this panel in the next episode uh, episode guys um sorry <laughs> in the next episode guys we are going to learn how to use this tool here this path selection tool direction tool and this uh, rectangle tool etc here and we are going to talk about the zoom tool you've already seen me use this zoom tool uh, more more than once and if we have time we will talk about layers but maybe we will talk about layers and this tool here uh, at the same time because they will be uh, we, yes yes we will do it we will talk about them both in the same episode you will understand better so i hope you enjoy it guys uh, i hope you like it uh, please subscribe if you didn't for now what are you doing hit the subscribe button guys uh, and see you in the next episode love you so much